Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to take a look at the uh, Safari Land 630 RDS. I really do like this holster a lot for going to the range, off duty, whatever. It's definitely not a concealable holster in this format that I have it in, uh, but it is very robust, very solid. And I actually do like the coloring. This is that multi-cam tropic. A couple of questions that I had is, and one other person asked, can this carry, you know, this is for the 17, the full size. Can a threaded barrel full size fit in this? And the answer is no. And I, I put that in another comment. The answer is no. And the reason being is because it's meant for the full size. And you can look down in there. There are things in the way to stop that from happening. If you want a Glock 17 with a threaded barrel to fit, buy the one for the Glock 34, the full size, the full slided um, competition, whatever you want to call the extended length. Uh, extended slide version of the Glock 9mm. So that's what you'd buy and then you can do the threaded barrel for that but of course then you cannot carry a Glock 34 threaded without doing something else which is probably removing some stuff in there that you don't want to remove. So nonetheless uh, that was one of the questions that other people had so I'll answer that. The other thing so again I bought this for a full size and the compact with the TLR HL. Fits in there nice Someday I might go optic, so that's why I bought the optic one. Works out great. So that's what I bought it for. I carry this mostly, and so that's what I use. Now I didn't want to just short myself to this, and that's why I bought the full size. Also, I didn't think about it at the time, but I put I have a threaded barrel on my 19, so of course I need to get the one for the full size. I didn't think about that ahead of time. I'm glad it all worked out and uh, I didn't over, I didn't have to spend again to buy the holster I needed. But I also have this pistol set up that is what I have to carry. And I've been issued this TLR-7A. Now, not, you know, not a bad light, not my cup of tea, not a bad light, um, but I like the TLR-1HL more, uh, but this is a great light too, it's very compact. We'll do a little side to side comparison. But the question in this video I ask is, will this still fit in my expensive holster, my Safari Land? Because if I want to use that holster for something else and bring this gun with and do some draw drills or whatever it may be, or just carry it, let's see if I can. So again, this holster here, this RDS holster, 6000 series is made for the TLR7HL. And look at that, full lock up, hood closed, everything good to go. Look at the draw, clean draw, full lock up, secured, clean draw, absolutely no hanging up. I mean, that is just phenomenal. Now, it to those that know anything about anything that, uh, would make sense, right? So unlike other holsters, the Safari Land 6000 RDS, you know, 630 RDS, does not grip onto the light. It grips onto the firearm so and locks in the ejection port door. The door, the ejection port. So this can allow the HL. This holster is actually also rated for the Surefire um, X300. And so it allows for many of the big lights. Well, the TLR-7 is a thinner light, is a smaller light, streamlines with the gun, uh, does not have the big bezel. And so if a bigger light, the big lights would fit, then it would only make sense that a smaller light would fit as well because it does not grip the light. Not the same in other holsters that grip the light. Um, but I thought that was pretty interesting that some people would like to know that. So again, the RDS holster, made for the TLR-1HL will fit the TLR-7A. Uh, well guys, stay connected, stay informed. See you on the next video.